Hey everyone, it's Potato Pikachu and today I'm going to talk about some ways that you can cash out on your investments if you're just looking to get some money in real life. There are so many websites nowadays that are just scams and I'm going to talk to you guys about some websites that I personally think are pretty trustworthy and also some alternative ways instead of websites like trading with other people. I'm going to talk about that as well. So if you're interested and don't know which websites to look for, then I hope you find this video helpful for you. I would also like to add a disclaimer that I'm not sponsored by any of these websites or any of these people I'm going to talk about. These are just websites and people I'm going to talk about based on my own experience. So you will only get my true opinions and what I feel about these websites and people. But before we get into the video, if you do enjoy this video, please like it and subscribe. They're both free and it really helps me out. Also, if you're interested, you can follow the Twitter or join the Discord. Links will be in the description down below if you're interested. So I hope you find this video helpful and let's get right into some websites first. The first website I'll talk about is CSGO Float. It is similar to Buff, which is a Chinese peer-to-peer -peer trading marketplace. And I would say that CSGO Float is basically the US equivalent. It's pretty huge now. There's a lot of people on the website and there's tons of skins on the website as well. And if you're interested in like high tier items or even low tier items, I think this is one of the more popular websites in the past few years or so. I'm pretty sure I can trust this a lot more. And if you are interested in withdrawing and you've sold some skins on this website, then you have three payment options. You have Payoneer, Cryptocurrency, and you have Stripe. I would say these are some pretty good options and the fees aren't too high as well for all three options. And I would say that crypto is probably the most popular payment option. So if you do have like a Coinbase account or something like that, then this would be perfect for you for cashing out. Next up, we have the ever so popular Chinese marketplace, Buff. It's probably the biggest marketplace we have in CSGO at the moment with tons of Chinese people coming into the scene and tons of Chinese people wanting to purchase skins. And overall, this really has expanded to the US and like the world in general. Like everyone uses it, everyone knows what it is. It's a huge marketplace. The only problem is that if you want to withdraw your money that you've made from selling your skins on this website, you need a Chinese bank account. And if you don't have that, then too bad, you can't withdraw. So the other option is to sell your buff balance to other people for PayPal money or like crypto. That's what people do nowadays. So if you do have buff balance, then you would just have to sell that to other people. The next website I'll talk about is DMarket. It's a website that I can say that I trust personally because I have used it in the past multiple times and based on everything they do and their Twitter account and just how they present themselves, I feel like I can trust them as well. And if you're looking for a website that has a lot of traffic, then this one is also the right website for you because it does have a ton of traffic. And recently they have implemented peer-to-peer -peer trading as well. But if you're still into the old fashioned uh, trading through bots, then they still have that as well if you're interested. So when you want to cash out, there are a multitude of payment options available on DMarket and they also state their fees as well. So you can see how much it would charge for each offer. I would really recommend this website if you're looking to just sell your skins and you don't have like a high valued inventory. And for those who do have higher valued inventories, I would say that there are better options out there. So for those who have lower inventory values, I would really recommend this website as well. The next website I'll talk about is Skin Baron. This is a huge European marketplace that I'm sure most of you have heard of based on from like Anomaly's videos and just overall the marketplace itself is pretty trustworthy based on how long they've been in the CSGO game and overall they've just grown and grown and grown to be a mammoth of a CSGO training website they are today. I believe you can also trust this website. I haven't really used it personally but I think it's a really good website and I, don't, I haven't seen any like scandals or any problems regarding this website so 
it's, I think it would be safe to assume that it's run really well. However, if you do want to withdraw from this website, then first of all, when you list an item, it is they're going to charge you a 15% fee, which I believe is similar to the Steam market fees. And then on top of that, there's probably going to be withdrawal fees as well. So personally, I wouldn't really recommend withdrawing from this website. And I'm just going to leave it as an option here because it is a safe bet. It's a website you can trust, but overall, it's pretty expensive. The last website I'll talk about is Bitskins. And I'm not sure what has happened to the site over the past couple of years, but I used to use it like a while back, but now I don't really use it anymore. And I'm not really sure if it's still a trustworthy site to go on, but from the looks of it, there still is a lot of traffic that goes through this website just based on the fact that it was basically the website everyone went to after OP skins shut down. So I'm sure there's still tons of traffic on this website, but I don't really know about the selling options and I'm not really too sure if it's still a trustworthy site in general. The only reason I'm putting this up on this video is because it is another alternative and I believe it's still okay to use. I think they've had new management or something like that and they might be better, but I would just do a bit more research on this website if you're interested in selling your skins here as well. There are so many other options and other websites that you can choose from like swap.gg and traded.gg but I'm not really going to talk about them because I haven't really used them personally or I don't really know if they have too much traffic so I'm just going to like skip over them but there are still other options you can choose from and all you have to do is just look online and just find more information about some websites that you think are better options for you. These were just some websites that I listed out that I believe are pretty decent and pretty trustworthy. So take that as you will. But there are still other options out there if you don't want to cash out on a website. Another option that I would suggest doing is to sell your skins to another person. More specifically, trusted people from the community who are willing to buy skins from you. There are tons of people like on Twitter and on a lot of Steam groups that I think that are pretty trustworthy, I would go to people like Anomaly, ZippoCS, Onapixel, Blizzard, Corps. These are just some people I recommend. And if they aren't even buying any skins, I'm sure that they know the people who are trustworthy to go for and can point you in the right direction to trustworthy sellers and trustworthy groups. I would say this is especially a good option if you're looking to sell like higher tier skins because I feel like that's something that's more desired for people like them and they will give you the money to purchase like unique and expensive items. So if you are interested in selling your skins to other people and more especially if you have like higher tier skins then I really suggest going on Twitter and finding these people who are trustworthy. But also beware that there are also a lot of scammers, so this is a bit risky to do. But if you're on Twitter and you're not sure if someone is trustworthy or not, you can just add like Zipple or Onipixel or Blizzard. And I'm sure that they can give you a response to find out if they are a scammer or not. So I hope you enjoyed this video and these are just two options that I recommend doing either just selling it directly on a third party website or just going through trustworthy people who are willing to buy your skins. Always make sure that the website you are on is the website itself and not some scam website that will take all your CSGO items. I really recommend just going on their website Twitter and clicking on that link as that will redirect you to their website itself and not some scam website that Google puts on as their ad at the top. Also, if you are trying to sell to other people, just make sure that you are selling to a trustworthy person and not a scammer as that can be really annoying to handle and you could potentially just lose all your skins and not make any money at all. So take your time and do research when you are trying to cash out on your skins as it is real money and you don't want to lose that at all. So thank you guys so much for watching and 
we've been monetized. Yay, I can't believe our channel actually got monetized. It's actually pretty insane. So I'm looking forward to just reinvesting that money into the channel itself and making higher quality videos and also pumping videos that I've never made before. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that as well. If you did enjoy this video, please like it and subscribe. Like I said before, it really helps me out and let's keep on growing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Potato Pikachu signing out. Peace.